when I cuddled with the person who was the third in that relationship, Lainey got really upset because they made it pretty clear that I wasn't supposed to cuddle with them. Um, but I said I wouldn't do anything that friends wouldn't do. Before she left, I told her I wouldn't do anything with a third person that I wouldn't do with a friend. My wife was fine with the fact that I said that at the time. So I thought to myself, well, I've cuddled with my friends before, and my own mom gave me a topless body massage, and she was a licensed masseuse. So those things must be okay to do with this third person. I was super duper wrong. I told my wife about the full body massage and the cuddling, thinking it would all be chill, and I've cuddled with friends before, so it was my way of manipulating my way into getting permission to cuddle. Here's the contract I proposed. I said, hey, beautiful people, here's our contract. We all agree to, one, always be honest. Two, never let jealousy negatively impact our relationship. Three, never use manipulative language. I clearly was manipulating her. She clearly indicated she did not want me cuddling with this person, yet I manipulated my way into cuddling with her anyway. I was clearly trying to slip something by her. I phrased what I was going to do in a way that wouldn't trip off any alarms in my wife's head, so she would agree to it on some level. Exa yes, and that's not the first time. I I've done that twice, I think. Use manipulative language to justify what my true intentions are. Um, and I also had my mom give me a full body massage. Uh, so I figured if my mom can give me a full body massage, then I can full body massage that person. Because it's, again, neither thing was sexual. And I said, no, I need affection. And I said, okay, I'm really aroused. I told my wife that there would be no more rules in our relationship. There would be no more boundaries, no more jealousy, and that I would do what I want. And so the next day Greg comes to me and tells me I'm gonna do what I want when it's the three of us. And that's that. And I said, okay. From that point on, Billy and I would basically kiss whenever we saw each other. But at some point, Lainey and her friends sat Billy down and had a talk with her. No one told me what this talk was about. I expressed to Billy, hey, I don't know what he means by this. I don't know if he just means like when all of us are together or when it's you two or he can do whatever he wants, whenever. She suggested to me that I should tell her my boundaries so that she could keep the situation in check. So what does Billy do? Billy immediately goes downstairs and starts kissing me again as usual. I'm now laying in bed freshly dumped with the third person and I figure now that I'm super lonely, super sad, and also super single, what is the harm in asking her to kiss me? And oh yeah, we had sex. Just for enough. And of course, Billy did not tell me anything about this agreement. Billy did tell me that she thought Lainey might be upset if she and I slept together. But every time she indicated she was worried, I would remind her of the conversation that I had with Lainey. In a relationship, you should not allow people to lie to you. You should not allow people to violate contracts that you have with them. You should not allow people to shit all over your trust with them for the sake of their own selfishness. But three, never use manipulative language. I clearly was manipulating her. Yeah, I'm really aroused. But what is the harm in asking her to kiss me? Billy did tell me that she thought Lainey might be upset if she and I slept together. So can you trust this person? Well, that's just a ridiculous question. My wife, who would repeatedly keep bringing up the fact that we cuddled many months prior, using that as the primary explanation as to why she refused to trust the third person, despite the fact that she ignored everyone's advice and brought her back anyway. Obviously, there were there there's a lot of there's a lot of good parts that she saw in me, and you know, I, I commend her for that. But at the same time, you know, everyone did warn her, and 